Hello, welcome back. This is Wensi from Wensi's Toys Channel and today I will be reviewing the LEGO Set 80011 Red Suns Inferno Truck from the first wave of the Monkey Kid series sets. And before I forget, please hit the subscribe button if you like my content and hit the like button if you like this review or find this very informational because a lot of the viewers that have been viewing my videos have not been subscribing so you can you please help me out and please hit subscribe and then we'll get on with the review thank you very much first up is the monkey kid so this is his appearance or his shirt before he became the monkey kid so as you can see he's still wearing his Big C's restaurant waiter shirt but with his red pants as compared to when he has his jacket here from the other Monkey Kid sets and as you can see even the bandana the one with the orange jacket has a printing so he has here a scared face and at the back he has an angry face and as you can see even his shirt has this pig seas marking and then next here is the main minifigure so here she has her green dragon horse jacket as compared to her dragon horse uniform on her other monkey kid sets minifigure and this jacket is cool because of the back printing as well and looking here, she also has an angry face at the back. And she actually has the same face as her other minifigures with the different costume. The next minifigure is the Red Sun. So this is the Demon King's son. And he has a nice leg and torso printing. I really like these. Um, minifigure printing for the red sun and he has I don't know if I can call this a skirt but it's a half cape so in the TV series it's actually part of the trench coat that he's wearing here so to get that effect in the le as a Lego minifigure it's a half half cape texture here and he also has a second printing for his head so this set also comes with four other minifigures and but these are the non main figures so this one is the shop owner for the panda store that we will be reviewing as well as part of the side mini builds and he has a nice striped shirt with the teal color um, single color for the pants or for the legs and the back printing also is the stripes and and he has a second scared face so this set also comes with three generic minifigures for the demon bull king's minions so all of them have the same printing here the helmet with the um horns here they these are assembled so they come in without the horns and then as you can see here and they have a pretty plain gray legs um, the only detail here is in the torso printing and then they have just an orange minifigure head and as you can see here in the back it's the same printing for all three demon bulking minion minifigures So on to the side builds. So this is one of the side builds that comes with the Lego set. And 
it's pretty cute actually. So it's the Monkey Kids tricycle, Pixie's delivery tricycle. So it has three wheels and how this is built is using just a multi-level block here to have that little angled look and he also has a delivery basket that has all the dumplings and dim sums and it comes with white frogs here to signify some of the dim sum and there's a delivery basket for some of the dumplings as well and these two by one pixies clear tiles are actually printed tiles so you get three of these in the set which is pretty nice now onto the trike one cool thing here is how these horns are were built so as you can see here it looks pretty much like a pig so it has these one by one circular tiles that are that have holes in them and then there's one by one pink tiles on the top which has those eyes or half crescent moon shaped printings in them these are not stickers because it's going to be hard to have them as stickers so they are printed pieces and of course this one also has a clip for the monkey kid staff which I don't know why he has those clips because he doesn't get the staff until pretty much later in the series and his tricycle would have been destroyed by then or if I'm remembering it incorrectly but yeah overall this is a pretty nice mini build okay the next mini build in this set is actually two mini builds so this whole panda store that you see here is one of the mini builds that you get to have in this set so it has this opening door here and that one is a sticker this one you would think that it's a would have been a print but it's actually a sticker as well this is just a window and here not sure if you can see but this is also a sticker for the ATM window so these three are stickers the panda face all of these circular tiles are stickers so you need to make sure that you align them properly or else you'll have a funny looking panda and then the ears move here because they're connected via um, clips as well and then the hand here moves as this this one is also connected via clip and then here at the side here this is actually another side build that you just connect again it has the pixies takeout box printed tile here um, a green frog and then some trees that you first build along with the tricycle the delivery tricycle and then you just connect it here after you build this one so let's take a look inside so inside the panda store is sort of a condiment store from what I see there's some sauces not sure what these coffee cups represent and also some other um, knickknacks here and if you go into any Chinese or any oriental store you'll probably see a golden frog at the countertop so that's well represented here then there's a security scanner here as well um, that actually is swivelable but that actually pushes the ATM out if you swivel it the other way like so
And then over this side is the refrigerator that has some white bananas in here. So the, these ones, the first mini build, you can connect them either this way or another way as well if you want. But you'll have to reconfigure the tree. So, or you can connect another building in here. Maybe if you have another set that has another connector, then you might connect to here. Okay, so let's get into the main build. So this Red Sun's Inferno truck actually is two builds. Um, there's a tricycle build and the actual truck build as well. So it's basically a two-in-one. If you've seen the series, the cartoon series, then you would know what I'm talking about. But for those who haven't seen the cartoon series yet, so the Inferno's, the Inferno truck, the Red Sun's Inferno truck, actually converts or has a hidden feature. So let me show you here. So this canopy head here or the driver's um, portion here actually lifts up as you can see there's technic pieces here so you can actually lift it up here and then there's a mechanism at the back to push this tricycle out so if I do it again since there are technic pins actually holding this tricycle so here, as you can see, there are Technic pins here at the end for this tricycle. And this in itself is a separate build. So as you can see here, it has, it uses telephone pieces for the front grilling, which I find it interesting when I was building it. And there's some clips here for the ram part of the truck. And these rims here are sticker pieces as well that is just on some discs here. So let me put that back there. So for as so let's look at these pieces separately. So this trike here is actually a separate build that you build first before the main body of the truck. And it uses some rubberized wheels here, as well as a rubberized singular wheel here that it's, is a new piece for this year. And it comes in white in one of the early 2020 Ninjago sets, as well as the newer Monkey Kid Cloud Car set but they are in white and this one is in red so this is a new piece for 2020 so this trike looks a bit bulky for me it it is compact wherein the build itself has a lot of pieces within it but i think for a trike it's too bulky i like the concept of it from the cartoon series but I just think it's too bulky for the Lego build itself as you can see here there are swinging clips here that is used in getting this wheel into place but after that there's no use for them here so they could have built this a different way where it doesn't need to swing out And as far as how the Red Sun sits here, he's just actually standing, as you can see. And he needs to hold that bar to look like he's driving. Because if I remove him here, there's no place for him to, to be securely in place. So that to me is a drawback. They could have put some studs there so that he can stand firmly in place. 
without having to hold the handlebars here because sometimes it's so hard to get him in place there. As for the truck, it has some unique features and I will get to that in piece by piece. Um, so it uses these Nexonite wheels for the wheels which is hard plastic. I wish it was they used some rubberized here for the interior so that when you're playing around with it when it rolls it's not scratching the floor because this is very hard plastic and also the cab here goes up and down so there's actually when you put it down with the cycle here you would think that the red sun is actually driving and then there's a weird driver here at the top right but when you pull it back there you would see that he seems to be driving the truck as well so that's a nice feature that they put there so as far as the pushing mechanism to push out the cycle there's a plunger here at the end that doubles as a stud shooter so here you can see you can fire the Gatling gun stud shooter and of course you would lose a lot of your studs that way <laughs> but they give you a lot of studs with this set and also the studs your extra studs can be placed here which is a nice feature as well So one other piece here, there is some barrel grenades that comes with this piece. And here how this angled cannon is positioned here, it's a pretty interesting build technique. It, but it's basically a flick fire cannon. So you flick here and out comes the barrel. So it shoots fairly far if you flick it hard enough. And at the back, since this is a truck, then there's a hook and chain here at the end that I'm not sure what this is for is to hook the, the monkey kid into place or drag him around. So all in all, I was happy with this set. Um, I didn't buy this originally because I wasn't too sure if it was a good enough set for the price point and that it was a big build so I didn't want to invest that much money into it but the local Lego store had a 30% off sale for this set so I said why not let's see how it goes and I was pretty satisfied on how the build for the truck came about but there are some flaws into it and pretty much it's a good set to invest in I would say but for the price point you might want to um, get it when there's a price reduction to it so maybe during this Black Friday sale in the US for those US folks who are going to be viewing this review this might be a good set to buy for you just this Black Friday so hope you like my review please hit that like button if you like it and found this informative please hit subscribe so that i can give you more reviews of future sets uh, to help me out and hope to see you in the next video thanks peace out